in the land between two rivers where civilization first rose, fifty generals mastered the art of ancient warfare, shaping empires that stood the test of time. Today, we explore the top 50 Mesopotamian generals, whose ingenious tactics and bold leadership forged the cradle of civilization. Known in the Bible as Merodach Baladan, Marduk Apliadina II repeatedly asserted Babylonian independence from Assyrian domination, successfully seizing the throne of Babylon and maintaining his rule intermittently against Assyrian pressure. An early ruler of Lagash, Entemena consolidated his kingdom through military strength and diplomacy, famously resolving border conflicts with Amma through the creation of the first known peace treaty. The third king of the Ur Third Dynasty, Amarsin is known to have campaigned against Elamite rulers, and the Ur Empire under his reign extended as far as the northern provinces of Lulubi and Hamatsi, with their own governors. A ruler of Larsa, Sinikishim successfully defended his city-state against numerous external threats and maintained its independence, during a time of regional conflict and consolidation. The last king of the Uruk Third Dynasty, Lugalzajesai briefly united all of Sumer and parts of Elam, and was instrumental in leading the final victory of Amma in the conflict with Lagash, before he was in turn defeated by Sargon the Great. King Agam III is noted for an expedition he led against the Sealand, also known as Sumer, reputedly conquering the city of Durin Lil, leaving him in control of all of southern Mesopotamia. Nebuchadnezzar I is best remembered for his victory over the Elamites, which restored the sacred statue of Marduk to Babylon, reasserting Babylonian power and religious prestige in the region. An Assyrian king, Arik Denili fortified the Middle Assyrian Empire through military campaigns that subdued local tribes and protected Assyrian borders from incursions, contributing to the stability and growth of the empire. A king of Lagash, Lugal Shanger was instrumental in expanding the influence of his city-state through military conquests of neighboring territories, particularly defeating Ur and capturing the king of Amma, Pabal Galtuk. A king of the Kassite dynasty in Babylon, Ulamburiash consolidated and expanded his kingdom's territory through military conquests. His reign marks the point at which the Kassite kingdom extended to the whole of southern Mesopotamia. An Assyrian king, Shamshiadad V secured his throne through a civil war and led successful military campaigns against Babylon to maintain the territorial integrity of the Assyrian Empire during his reign. The founder of the first dynasty of Ur, Mesonepida is known for his military expeditions, particularly his conquest of Uruk, that established Ur as a dominant force in Sumer, securing its place as a major center of power and culture. As a ruler of Uruk, Inshakashana is celebrated for extending his control and claiming hegemony over all of Sumer, conquering Hamatsi, Akkad, Kish, and Nippur during his reign. Founder of the first dynasty of Isin, Ishbayera rose from being an official under the last kings of the Ur Third Dynasty to establishing his own rule, successfully gaining independence and initiating the Isin Larsa period. A king renowned for his military campaigns and brutal tactics, Ashurnasirpal II vastly expanded Assyrian territory conquering the Arameans and Neo-Hittites between the Khabar and the Euphrates rivers. A Kassite king who strengthened Babylonian defenses and expanded the empire through military campaigns against Elam and Assyria, notably conquering Susa, the capital of Elam, and installing a new king to the throne. Ruler of Uruk, Uarnijan is known for his role in destroying the Akkadian Empire, 
which had probably already been weakened by the Gutians and established a short-lived fifth dynasty of Uruk. Founder of the third dynasty of Ur, Ur Namo is famed for promulgating the earliest law code predating Hammurabi's and for his military campaigns that established a unified state in southern Mesopotamia. Rimsin I successfully conquered several neighboring city-states, including Isin, establishing one of the longest reigns in Mesopotamian history and turning Larsa into a major power in the region, before its conquest by Hammurabi of Babylon. An Assyrian king who initiated the Middle Assyrian Empire's rise to power, Ashur Ubalit I successfully expelled the Hittite and Hurrian influences and reasserted Assyrian power in Mesopotamia through military might. An early king of the Middle Assyrian Empire, Tiglathpileser II is known for his military campaigns that helped stabilize and expand the empire, securing its borders against nomadic incursions. A king of Assyria, Shalmaneser III is particularly remembered for his extensive military campaigns across the Near East and the Levant, as well as his black obelisk which depicts his conquests and tributes from various kingdoms. An Assyrian king, Shalmaneser V is noted for his campaigns against the Kingdom of Israel, culminating in the Siege of Samaria in 722 BC which led to the conquest of the kingdom and the deportation of its population. Although not primarily known for military exploits, Gudia, the ruler of Lagash, conquered Elam and Anshan and significantly enhanced his city-state's prosperity through temple building, inscriptions, and statues. King Gunginum of Larsa redirected the flow of the Euphrates River to his advantage, usurping territories from the rival city-state of Isin and establishing Larsa as a significant economic and political power in southern Mesopotamia. The second or third king of the Akkadian Empire, Manishtushu conducted military campaigns that expanded Akkadian influence into the Persian Gulf region, securing valuable trade routes and resources. The son of Hammurabi, Samsu'eluna faced several major revolts that fragmented the Babylonian Empire, notably maintaining control over key cities despite widespread rebellion during his reign. The second king of the Ur Third Dynasty, Shulji is renowned for his military expeditions that consolidated and expanded his empire, alongside implementing administrative reforms that standardized weights, measures, and the scribal system. King Nereglisser of Babylon, known for his military campaigns and building projects, campaigned in Anatolia against Apowashu, a king of a small kingdom in Cilicia, and successfully captured his capital, Ura. Utuhengal, ruler of Uruk, is best known for leading a successful uprising against the Gutian rulers, liberating Sumer and marking the decline of the Gutian dominance over the region. An Assyrian king who revitalized the Neo-Assyrian Empire, Ashurdan II is noted for his extensive military campaigns that quelled internal rebellions and secured Assyrian borders, setting the stage for future expansions. A significant king of Assyria, Tiglath-Pileser I led military campaigns that greatly expanded Assyrian territories into Anatolia, Syria, and the Levant during his reign, securing a vast amount of territory for the empire. The second king of the Akkadian Empire, Rimish, is noted for his military campaigns against rebellious city-states in Sumer, effectively consolidating and expanding Akkadian control in the region during his reign in the 23rd century BC. 
Ruler of the city-state of Adab, Nugalan Mundu is noted for his expansive military campaigns, which he claimed extended his control across Sumer and to distant regions, making him one of the earliest rulers to attempt an empire in Mesopotamian history. As an early king of the Middle Assyrian Empire, Adad Nirari I expanded Assyrian territories through military campaigns against Mesopotamian city-states and stabilized the empire through these conquests. A significant ruler of the Neo-Assyrian Empire, Adad Nirari II is credited with revitalizing Assyrian power, extending its dominion through military conquests, thus laying the groundwork for the empire's later expansion under his successors. Ashurbanipal, the last great king of the Neo-Assyrian Empire, is renowned for his extensive military campaigns, particularly towards Elam, that led to its destruction and secured Assyrian dominance in the Near East. Shalmaneser I was a king of Assyria who was known for defeating Shatuara, king of Mitanni, and his Hittite and Olamu allies and incorporating the remains of the Mitanni kingdom as part of one of the Assyrian provinces. Shamshiadad I rose to power through conquest, establishing a new regional empire that encompassed much of northern Mesopotamia and revitalizing Assyrian power in the early 2nd millennium BC. Celebrated for his divine kingship and military prowess, the empire under Naram Sin reached its maximum extent, and he became the first to claim the title, King of the Four Quarters. Isarhaddon successfully restored the Assyrian Empire's dominance through extensive military campaigns, notably reconquering Egypt and subduing numerous rebellions throughout his reign from 681 to 669 BC. Known for his code of laws, Hammurabi was also a capable military leader who significantly expanded his empire to cover much of Mesopotamia through conquest and diplomacy during his reign. The founder of the Neo-Babylonian Empire, Nabopolassar orchestrated the successful revolt against Assyrian rule and laid the groundwork for Babylon's final resurgence as a major power by defeating the Assyrians and their Egyptian allies. The king of Assyria known for his military campaigns against the kingdom of Judah, Sennacherib is most famous for his siege of Jerusalem in 701 BC, part of his broader efforts to consolidate Assyrian control over the Levant. A Sumerian king of Lagash, Ianatum is celebrated for his victory over Ash, king of Amma, effectively expanding Lagash's influence and securing valuable agricultural lands, as depicted in the steel of the vultures. As the greatest king of the Neo-Babylonian Empire, Nebuchadnezzar II is renowned for his conquests of Judah and Jerusalem in 586 BC, leading to the Babylonian exile and his extensive building projects in Babylon. A powerful king of Assyria, Tukulti the I is noted for his military conquests against the Hittites, Babylonians, and Elam, significantly expanding Assyrian territory in the 13th century BC. An assertive ruler who reconsolidated the Assyrian Empire, Sargon II is best known for defeating the northern tribes and relocating the Israelite population, effectively ending the Kingdom of Israel in 722 BC. The founder of the Akkadian Empire, Sargon the Great is legendary for creating one of the world's first empires, uniting the city-states of Sumer under his rule through extensive military conquests. Tiglath-Pileser III implemented major reforms in the Assyrian military and bureaucracy, and aggressively expanded the empire's borders through campaigns in Syria, Israel, and Babylonia during the 8th century BC. From the Fertile Crescent emerged 50 generals whose strategies laid the foundations for empires and altered the course of human history. Which of these historic figures fascinated you the most?
we invite you to share your thoughts in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this journey through ancient Mesopotamia, please like this video, subscribe for more explorations into history, and hit the bell to ensure you don't miss our next voyage into the past.